before you watch this video, I want you to share this video. This video needs to go viral. It needs to go all over the place. So people know what can be done to coins and they need to know, be careful when they buy it online. This is how you would alter a coin to sell it on eBay for more money. You know, remove marks. Now, some of them do this on eBay and it's very obvious. I'm not showing you how to do this, but I'm going to show you that it can be done. And I'll tell you this, if I offer a money back guarantee and you get a different coin or a coin that looks different than my images, all I have to do is offer a money back guarantee and you can't give me bad feedback because it is your opinion that the coin's different. It is your opinion that um, I sold you a clean coin versus a non-clean coin. You know, eBay is not coin experts. So anyways, I want to show you what, what I can do to this coin. And we're going to look closer because this coin has a very heavy contact mark from the edge of another readed Morgan dollar. Okay, so you can see it right here. Now it's unsightly. It will take away from the grade. It could almost maybe give it a point less grade. So it's important that this coin not have that mark if you're trying to sell it for more money, right? Boom. It's gone. And if I see anything else that I don't like, I can remove that as well. And a uh, little bit on the brow here. And there's some marks here I don't want. And there's some more marks in this area. Just kind of lighten them up a little bit. Now, if you really zoom in, you can see these, how I removed them, or at least that I removed them. And there's another one. Now, we can zoom back out a little bit. And we will look at this coin just a little bit. Let's see if we can find some more marks. And you know, this is what people just, it just amazes me that day in and day out, they'll do this to their coins. Now, some of them are just so obvious. They're not as good as I am at, you know, manipulating photos. They use the dodge and smudge. And I see the smudge a lot. I showed one in one of my other videos. But you can remove some of these unsightly marks on a coin and I just showed you I can do it again down here, even in the darker areas. It doesn't matter. It's gone. All these marks, I mean, I can at least make them look like they're not there anymore. Now, if you are selling on eBay, and like I told you before, the money-back guarantee, um, you do everything by eBay's rules. You offer free shipping. You do everything you can to look like you're trying to please the customer. eBay's automation system will remove feedback. It'll remove feedback if I go in and I complain uh, to uh, put a negative in and say, look, you know, this coin wasn't I described, it was cleaned, or it was uh, fake, or it was this or that. Well, eBay doesn't look at, they don't try to prove anybody's intent here. They just go with the average. And a lot of people think, well, eBay's against the seller, eBay's against the buyer. I've heard both sides of the story. But it's more of an automation system because nobody at eBay that works at eBay are coin enough experts, okay? So therefore, they're not going to sit here and say, yeah, you're right, that's probably clean. Yeah, you better give him a refund and we're going to leave that negative. It just doesn't work that way. Feedback systems are not meant to be perfect. That's why you should buy from a reputable dealer, uh, buy a graded coin. Don't, don't get on eBay and think you're going to get a lottery win. I know some people do this and there will be someone who will make a comment saying they make money at doing it. You know, I used to try to do it myself, and every once in a while I'd hit it right. But, you know, as much time as I spent doing it, it wasn't worth it. Because so many people sell altered coins or coins they don't even know themselves are clean that you're just taking a huge risk trying to, to do that. Uh, here's a uh, die crack. If I don't want a die crack on it, I can eliminate it. And I can do this with multiple coins. You know, I can, uh, you know, I've got several coins here that I can mess with and... I have an 1885cc here, and it has a bunch of marks all over its face. So we can look at a coin and think, okay, if we remove certain marks, this one's going to be hard to do. This is going to be one of them that they're going to smudge up really good. And if you don't know what that is, if you don't know what burn, dodge, and smudge, and all that will, will do in Photoshop, then you need to learn it if you're buying raw coins online because people will do this. And even if they're not doing it and they don't know any better, uh, you know, they might be selling a coin that they think is cl not cleaned, and it is cleaned. And I see that a lot. And see, this one's a little more difficult to do, 
because of all the contact marks, but you can take out some of these highlights. That's the, the thing. You're taking out the highlights and you can't really see the contact marks. So you have to do it a little bit differently when you're looking at this one, or it'll be too obvious. There are just so many marks on this cheek. But it seems like to me nobody cares. They're still buying their coins. I, I don't understand why these videos do not go viral. I mean, literally, now when you zoom out of this, and if I resize this image, then you won't be able to tell. I mean, you, you'll see it, and you'll be like, eh, looks pretty good to me. You know, I mean, it, I that's a little too obvious to me because there's just so many marks in that area, it makes it look gray. So I would just smudge it up more. But what amazes me is that I do videos like this, and they get a few thousand views, and that's it. They should get 100, 200,000 views. These should be shared all over social media. They should be going viral, literally, so that people, this would put them out of business if we went viral with these videos. I don't understand why they don't. It, it, can, it really confounds me. I don't know how to get into the algorithm to get these videos out there, but I mean, I do everything I can. I've got a help community. I've got Facebook groups. I put them on Facebook. I put them on my business. I've got a huge mailing list. You know, I send out emails. I try, but I mean, I'm only one person and I can't do it. But if 5,000 people would share this all across the board on their Facebook or social media, it would go viral. Why can't we do that? I, I don't understand why we can't. And thanks for watching this video, but please share it. I don't care if you sub. I don't care if you, what do you do? Just share this video and have a great day.